Hi everyone, uh, welcome to week four of the falling mass rotating pulley experiment. Uh, there are no uh, formal class activities this week, but I wanted to take this opportunity to make a few announcements about where we'll be going for the rest of the course. At this point, we've taken data. Uh, I, I've taken a look at, at the data that, that we got. Uh, I think it looks reasonable. So I, I, at this point, I, would, I, I think we can say that what's left to do is data analysis and writing. So the reason there are no formal activities this week are to give you time to work on analyzing your data and writing about it. Uh, you should have received feedback uh, on the drafts of your theory section and your apparatus section. Uh, if uh, you're running behind and, and you haven't turned in those drafts, um, I'm still happy to receive them and give you feedback on them. I will be watching my email during our normal class slot today if you want to Zoom about using Excel, about questions you have about the data, or, or about uh, writing. I won't have a, for, uh, a, a standing Zoom meeting, um, but I'm happy to chat with anyone who would like to. So the next thing that's due uh, is going to be uh, a complete draft, uh, and the deadline is going to be 11.59 p.m. on Sunday evening. Uh, the reason for that is so that I can have a chance to read and provide feedback on your drafts uh, before um, having one-on-one -on -one conferences with you about your writing next week. So the main thing you should focus on is completing the results and discussion section, uh, but there'll be some other things uh, to complete as well, including the conclusion, the introduction, and an abstract. Please get in touch if you have any questions about those things. Uh, so as I mentioned, uh, I'll be sending out later this week a sign-up for one-on-one -on -one, uh, meetings. It will be really helpful to me if uh, you can, uh, when you submit your full draft, you can submit it in a, in a format that is editable. So if you're using Microsoft Word, please send me the, the raw Word document. Uh, if you're using Google, uh, Google, uh, uh, Google Docs, you can, you can share the link with me and allow editing, or you can download from Google Docs as a, as a Word document. And you know, if, if there's another format that you can uh, that that you you would like to use, just check with me, and and we'll figure out how to uh, how how to make that work. Uh, if you are using LaTeX, as several people are, uh, please send the LaTeX source files. Uh, although uh, as you've been doing, although just to be clear, uh, using LaTeX is uh, by no means uh, a requirement. So uh, the last thing that I just wanted to mention is that uh, we will have a final assessment during the exam period. This will touch on the various things we've learned about in the course, including uh, what we learned about digital electronics, as well as uh, scientific data analysis, so things like model testing and uncertainty propagation, etc. So uh, because the context in which you're going to have to apply these skills in the real world is not one in which you can't look up manuals or, 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 or things like that, this uh, final assessment will be open resource. Namely, you will be uh, able to consult your lab manuals and your lab notebook. So I'll have some more details about uh, that uh, in, in the coming days, but just to give you a heads up that we will have an open resource final assessment. So thank you very much, uh, and I look forward to conversations with, uh, with you um, this week and looking forward to talking to everyone uh, when we have uh, our uh, writing conferences next week. Take care, stay well, uh, good luck with uh, finishing out the semester, and hopefully I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.